welcome to another edition of Making Speedway Today. I'm Larry Rogers with Larry Limbach. We got twin races tonight. Tell them about it, Larry. Well, the two modified features tonight are going to wrap up the five race series that's going to make for the Illinois State Championship. We're going to give that trophy away on Making Speedway Today. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Making Speedway Today, as it is each and every week, is brought to you by Smooth Bush Beer and Easy Drinking Bush Light. Head for the mountains of Bush. All right, let's go racing. I'm Larry Limbach, along with Larry Rogers, and it's time for exciting racing highlights from Macon Speedway, Saturday, July 20th, 1991. We've got the sportsman on tap. This is the second heat, eight laps, and I think the first three go into the feature. Now, it's going to be an interesting show tonight because we had so much racing, with so many features. We're going to be showing you all kinds of highlights. Stick with us. We'll let you know where we're going and when we're going there. Right now, we have the green flag for the sportsman. The three abreast already. Look at him. Freddie well, Conaway, the yellow 24, takes the lead. Somebody stalled there on the back straightaway, number Tom, two, isn't Tom it? Tom Gray in 72, having trouble getting away. Freddie Conaway and Wes Odell. Freddie's on the outside, the yellow 24. Wes Odell on the inside. 87, Paul Patterson almost straight away behind, but watch him. He won't be there long. I'll tell you what, it's the same old thing here at Making Speedway. We've got a high groove and a low groove. Right now, Freddie Conaway's running high. In 24, 17 is Wes Odell on the inside. Keep an eye on that picture, though, because you'll see that white 87 come rolling in. Here he comes. these guys. Side by side. What's he do? Go over him? <laughs> He's flying. Look at this. Just all of a sudden, he gets hooked up and catches up with him. Coming around to complete four laps. Let's see how he passes these two running side by side. He will. He'll go through the middle, around him, over him, under him. He'll get them. They won't be there long. Here he oh, goes. Second Conway place now. Up. This guy is amazing. In just one year, he has turned into probably the most exciting racer on the track. 87. An exciting class, too. He's got the lead. 87, Paul Patterson from Burton. Where'd he come? The back row? He was way back. He was in the next county. Well, I'll tell you what, in a heat race, you don't see that too often. Well, now that's the green flag. So two, two more laps to go in this eight-lap sportsman heat and yeah, he's got no problem now Wes Odell's got a different car than he started the year off with he was in that 25 originally he's back to his original car number 17 white flag for Paul Patterson well we've got a good crowd here tonight too not a bad seat to place if you haven't been down here this year you ought to come we want to see we still got a lot of great racing left at making speedway and there's a checkered flag for 87 Paul Patterson sportsman second heat winner Let's keep these sportsman highlights going, Larry. Let's roll right into the sportsman feature. Six laps have been completed, and look who's leading. Six out of 15 laps are down. 87, Paul Patterson. We just saw him win that heat race. He's got Mike Mohan behind him in the white over gold car number six. And there's Wes Odell in the black number 17 as we pick up the green. Well, I'll tell you what, you don't want that number six behind you. That guy is fast. He'll find a way to get around you. You know, the same thing with Wes Odell. Somehow, he's going to get around you if his car works. And now he's going to the high side to try to do it. Now, this is good. So you got two guys running low, and you got a fast guy running high. We've almost got three full grooves here. Watch them now. We're going to see which groove works the best here in a minute. Looks like Paul Patterson's staying way low. Well, everything's changed now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they changed their mind. They must have heard us. Yeah, the car ain't working up here. I'll try down there. The six, Mike Mon Mohan goes high, and now 17, Wes Odell, the black car, is, is running low as they come at us into the first turn. Yeah, this is a little different angle here. Let's see if it works. Well, it looks like it's working a little bit better for Mike Mohan up high. Catch At least he's holding second. Catch him coming off the corner a little sideways. Oh, boy. Now we've got to change the lead. He has got it working. Let's see if he can do it. 87, Paul Patterson still leads, but now Mike Mohan's right alongside him in car number six, trying to take the lead. Let's see if he gets him down the straightaway. He got him. You bet he did. Got him on that lap. Mike Mohan outside the white over gold number six. Inside the white with red 87, Paul Patterson. What they would Odell didn't give it up either. Look at him. Oh, he won't. Right down to the end. He'll still be running. Still side by side. Coming around to complete 13 laps. You see that green flag wave. Yeah. Let's the drivers know two laps to go in their feature. Who are you going to pick? I don't know. I don't either. This could be a three-car oh. dead heat. Paul Patterson with the lead. Mike Mohan going high. Wes Odell going low. 
White flag, side by side, three abreast, and one last to go. Last lap. This is, oh, we got Traffic, a last car here. That's going to tell. Traffic's going to make oh, it up. Mike Mohan just Mohan. got off it. Now it's a two-car race. But who's it going to be? Go. Side by side, and flop. Oh, oh, by a bumper. Patterson by a bumper. Well, that's the same picture we saw 15 laps ago. Sure Paul was. Patterson with a checkered flag. Boy, that's close. You notice that the late models are the only class to qualify. They're starting to do that all over the country now. There's a lot of reasons for it. Number one, it's a time factor. We can get you home and in bed quicker. Number two, it saves the racetrack for better racing. But the other three classes have to draw for position. And in this segment, we're going to show you how they draw and where that puts them on the racetrack. Here comes Marty Heiser. He's going to draw for tonight's program. Come on in, Marty. See how lucky you are tonight. All right. All right, he's drawing one out. Spence is building. Marty Heiser, draw number 27. Good luck tonight, Marty. Thanks a lot, right? Diane, what do you think that's up Marty for tonight's program? All right, if there's two heats, Marty Heiser would be the fifth row inside. Now, that's how the other three classes draw to decide where they start on the racetrack. I'm Larry Rogers for Making Speedway Today. Thank you, Larry. Let's take a look at modified racing action. This is the first heat. Who got on the front row here? It's like the subway car. 55 Bob Bennett and 23 Marty Heiser. Remember, these are highlights of racing from Saturday, July 20th at Macon Speedway. We want you to come on down to the racetrack. That's not a subway car. That's a California Custom Auto body car. Oh, okay. Same family. My mistake. Uh -huh. California Custom Auto and Bob's Lock and Alarm. And there's Marty Heiser with the lead at car number 23. And about a half straightaway back is car number two, Jack Dowers, that yellow car in second place. Well, we had a bump in there in the first turn going in. You know, we've got some cars here you might not recognize because they've come up from Vandalia, Brownstown, down south to take part in a five-race championship series. And you're looking at a blue over white car number four, Phil Sefton from Brownstown. He used to race here at Macon Speedway, and he is back, and he is leading the points for the five-race championship series going into tonight's action. And he is a strong third right now. You'll see a lot more of Phil Sefton tonight. Well, you're going to see a lot more of him on his camera if he keeps he doing this. Marty Heiser with the lead, and Jack Dowers going inside. But look at Phil Sefton. A little tap there. He says, OK, Jack, there's one warning. I'm going to have you. Here I come, right up the middle, around the outside, down low, but I'm going to take it. And he got him on the outside. Let's see if he can make it stay. He's wanting to push Marty Heiser in that white <laughs> car, but he can't. He shouldn't, anyway. Whoa, oh, right between zigzag. And Good Phil Sefton. Uh -oh. Phil Sefton takes over the lead. Good. Boy, that's a slick move, wasn't it? Two spots in one lap for Phil Sefton in car number four. He's from Brownstown. He's got a lot of features at Brownstown Speedway, too. Okay, white flag is flying. Here we go. One lap to go, Phil Sefton. I'll tell you what, he passed him just pulling away. Now let's see if traffic's going to bother him at all. I don't that's think so. That's the way he passed those two guys. No. I don't think Lab Travis. All he's got to do is, stay, is take it easy right now. He's got a checkered flag. There's Phil Sefton, Jack Dowers, and Marty Heiser. Phil Sefton from Brownstown with that heat win. We'll be right back with more races. Feel the roaring thunder of hot stock car racing at Macon Speedway. It's boss. Load up the whole family for an evening of fast, affordable, hard-driving excitement. It's fun. Time trials start at 7 o'clock. The races follow at 7.30. Join the winner's circle at the Macon Speedway, nine miles south of Decatur on Route 51. Be there. It's exhilarating. All right, this is the second 20-lap Coors Light modified race. Number four, Phil Sefton won the first one. We've got two laps completed out of 20. Picking up the green, here we go with 52, Roger Drake, former late model track champion with the lead in this modified feature. Inside is two Jack Dowers, outside is that gray car, number six, Bill of uh, uh, Fred Coons Jr. from Macon. And on the inside, there's 88, Al Crawley from Decatur. Watch that black 45, Rick Crawford. I think he's gonna come into play here pretty soon. I'll tell you what, Roger Drake looks awful smooth, doesn't he? Now he's got the front end pushed just a little bit there in that corner. Watch out, through the infield. Who was that? That Well, Rick Crawford. I couldn't make out who the other one was. The 45, Rick Crawford had a little bit of trouble there. Look at Fred Coons. Marty Heiser moving up. Marty Heiser in a white 23. 
Oh, look at him. Got a good fight for second place there. Oh, and Fred is just riding all the way to the top Whoa. of the wall. And oh. Marty's riding all the way to the bottom. Look at this. And the That's other guys Marty. are running the middle. Yeah, they've caught Drake. That's a fight for the lead. Not second place anymore. Okay, Roger's got the lead. Now we got three cars going for second place. Inside is Marty Heiser. Oh. Right in the middle of that Three sandwich, breaths. Jack Dowers. And outside is Fred Coons, Jr. Nobody backed off. Roger says, you all keep playing for second. That track's not that wide, is it? How'd they do that? <laughs> I think they could put a couple more in there, too. Whoa! Back off! Somebody's got to give. I'm gonna close my oh, eyes, Larry. Tell me what happened. This is not gonna work. I'm telling you. Somebody's got back off. Well, they, they didn't. Did. Whoa! Man, four breaths. <laughs> Marty Heiser comes out with the lead. I guess Woo. he was the bravest of the four. <laughs> five now. Oh, we got five running for it. That'd have to be fun. <laughs> because. Guess. Look at Ken Roush. Oh, we got five cars. That's right. 11 is Ken Roush from Sullivan. Now, he came into the night in second place for the IMCA Modified Five Race Championship Series, only two points behind Phil Sefton. Oh, Whoa, we got a spinner. Oh. Keith Jenkins in car number 10 having some trouble in the fourth turn to bring out the yellow. There yeah, we oh, swing yeah. into action. 14 out of 20 laps completed the second Coors Light Modified feature. Well, I'm glad you're strung out a little bit. I'm yeah, afraid you're going to try five of Brent. Well, watch, watch out now. There's Marty with the lead, but he's got Fred Coons up high. high. Yes, number six is Silver Six. We got caught up in traffic, but Fred's not giving up easy. Well, sure is. Uh-uh, Marty's running the high side. Oh, Fred lost a little bit of ground there. Roger Drake still holding on to third in that yellow and blue 52. I still can't believe those guys went four breaths <laughs> and didn't crash. I bet they can't believe it either. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a testimony of their driving ability, I'll tell you that. Marty's stretching it out. Ken Roush is getting up there into play. Now, he finished all right in the second feature, or the first feature. He's going to finish good and strong in this feature, and he's going to win that five-race modified championship. I think Two laps to go. Yeah. They were waving the green. Watch how straight Marty keeps his car through the corners here if we get the camera on him. He's just going to keep a nice, smooth line because he's only got one yeah. lap to go. The track gets hard and slick. That's what you have to do. Boy, he's doing it. He's got a straightaway lead. He's not going to let it get away from him. All right, number six is in second. Is that correct? Yep, Fred Coons Jr. Yeah, from Macon. Car right there. there he is. Top the okay, there. there's Marty getting the checkered oh, flag. Fight the third. We got a real fight. Fred Coons third. in second. And, and oh, Roger dead Drake. heat. I'm not calling that one. Roger Drake by a nose. Marty Heiser with a 20 lap win. Marty Heiser, winner of a 20-lap feature at Macon Speedway on Coors Light Night. Marty, were there enough yellow lights for you? Yeah, there sure was. <laughs> Just enough to keep you going. Was that engine about to go? Well, I've been saying it for about three last three weeks, and I don't think nobody believes me, but it's getting an awful lot of blow-by. Well, I'll tell you, if you were at the racetrack tonight and at the end of that feature heard it, you'd have thought popcorn was going to come flying out of there, but you had enough to win. Yeah, the car was hooked up real good, and fortunate enough, it was dry slick where you don't need much horsepower, so... We was on the good end of the stick. Well, you're starting to move up in points, and you're getting some really good, impressive feature wins in 1991. Good season for you. Yeah, it started out kind of slow, and it's getting better. And uh, nights like tonight always make it a lot more fun. When you can race like that, like we did tonight, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Well, you know, we got almost 100 race cars here every Saturday night. Now we're going to show you some of the really fast guys, the late models. Oh, you'll flip over these highlights. <laughs> yeah, somebody <laughs> will. Keep an eye on Dave Smith. Number 73. That's blue right, the blue and white 73 and the five, the white and green five on the inside. Ronnie Tucker, watch them as they come off this fourth turn. Ronnie watch doesn't it. see him. Ronnie does not see Smith and... Whoa! Oh, heads up. Heads up, down. Man. Let's Different take another angle. look at it from the first turn. Watch him. Get out of the way, kid. Here he comes. Watch him. Over he goes. Bang. Boom. I'll tell you what, that scared me a little bit. That car really made a pancake. That scared here. Pee Wee his first time over. And he walked away. He was fine. Car's a little dented. But get it back on its wheels. Heads That's up. Now, these are other drivers helping out. There's Fast Eddie Bauman, Jim Ader oh. down there helping out. Look at that car. Yeah, a lot of sheet metal damage. Mm. He I was don't lucky. know what else, but a lot he of sheet metal. Lucky. All right, now let's get some highlights here. Four laps to go. In this late model, second heat. Here they come. Al, Al Crawley. Car number 11. Jim Rarick in car number 32. The white car there in second place. And these guys are flying. This track was so fast tonight. 73, Bill Hannett was having a good night. Two laps to go. 
I'll tell you what, Al Crowley's done a good job driving this car. He usually don't drive late models. He drives modified. Drives There's the, the white flag. Modified. Yep. Last lap. Let's running see what two he does now. If he can hold off rarely. Look at Jeff Lika and um, Marvin Burton racing side by side. Here, Here they come side by side. Dead heat. Whoa! Just look at barely. that. Barely. Al Bye. Crawley. Bye. I mean, barely. Watch this. As they all complete the, the finish, Al Crawley and car number 11 with just a little over a bumper win. All right. We're going to stay with the late models. Let's roll into the feature on the front row. Bill Hannett and Jeff Lika. Second row, 77 Jeff Wallace and 32 Jim Rarick. I'll tell you what, this track's going to have to buy a finish line camera <laughs> for those photo finishes that these guys keep doing this. What do you think? Can we get another one of those photo finishes before the night's over? Uh, it happens every week down here. Well, these are highlights of stock car racing action from Saturday, July 20th. And what we're looking at is late models as they come rolling around on their parade lap. They're waving to the crowd. The crowd waves back at them. They get done with the parade lap, and they go racing. I'll tell you what, the crowd does wave, too. They really get into this wave on, on the wave lap. You can watch it. 25 frantic laps, and we've got a fast track tonight. Here they come. Now nice. they go. Look at that lineup. Bill Hammett has been up there for the last several weeks, and boy, he's been impressive. 73, the blue and white 73 is Bill Hammett. He's got 40 Jeff Lika, 32 Jim Rarick, and 77 Jeff Wallace right behind him. At 25, Joe Ross Jr. 14, four, Brian that's right, Rock here we go. It's crowded already. Looks like most of us want to run the high groove, though. 20, Mark Gonsman running down low. See if that'll work for him. Jeff Wallace is staying low. We've got three grooves. Look at three distinct racing positions. But it's going to be a good race. Up high is Brian Ader. In got a yellow 14. You got a fight for the lead already. Jim Rarick. You know, we're going to have to do a little thing about Jim Rarick's back wheel. Not the, not the back wheel on a car, the back wheel sticking out from the right side that rolls along the wall when he rides, he rides high. Up there. He did, it, his dad invented that. Really? Yeah, to keep it from tearing up the car. He's got a wheel, a little bitty a soapbox derby wheel that rolls Is that on right? the back. Well, he needs one. <laughs> 73, Bill Hammett, 40, Jeff Lika. Here they come, off the fourth turn, down the straightaway, into the first turn. Isn't that fun to watch him come out of that corner in this angle? 32, Jim Rarick. Watch him come out now. Uh -huh. watch, the, watch the rear end. 77 is Jeff Wallace. The red car on the outside is Joe Ross, Jr. Coming at you. Now Rarick's moved down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, and you can't you can't pass in the high group. There's a guy, a guy in it. A little Oops. tap there. <laughs> a couple more little taps. Get crowded. Got a fast track and a bunch of race cars. Every now and then you get a little tap. Well, there's no damage done. Boy, they're running in a pack. Look at this. Brian Ader staying up high in 14. Tell you what, Hannah's doing a great job. Yeah, he is. He's running away from him. Well, I wouldn't call it that. But well, he's, he's got some job. feature win that's <laughs> in him, and he'll we'll probably see him this year. Oh, oh Jeff Lika's 40. That's a motor, isn't it? Uh, that's got to be a blown motor. Mercy's yeah. still running. Those guys can't going. see, though. <laughs> Boy, I'd like to be that car behind. Oh, he's got to be laying down some oil. Whoa, oh, no, Bill Hannett. Oh, well, fun. Hannett just got taken out in the fourth turn, and that puts an end to his feature hopes for tonight. Boy, what a shame. 73, Bill Hannett from Jacksonville. We come back to action with nine laps completed, nine out of 25. Go near and out, just look at that scoreboard. 32, Jim Rarick. The red 25, Joe Ross, Jr. 77 Jeff Wallace, the yellow 14 Brian Ader, and the black 117 is Rick Standridge. Yep, looks like they're all coming. And this year, Rick's run both late model and modified. Now, Rick's back in the high group, see, when he's out there by himself. Nope, Joe Ross having a little trouble there. Now he's picking it up. Jeff Wallace running up high. Let's see if he can get around for second place. He's been running strong this year, too. Brian Ader's moving up. Watch the yellow 14. He's up to third. Let's see if he can hold it. He looks awful good tonight. Oh, Rarick can't run away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Left and Hang right. on. <laughs> Hang on. I was doing a road course thing there. Right turns at it. Now, oh, look at Rick Standridge running down low. The black 117. Action everywhere. Now Jim Rarick stretches it out again. About a half a straightaway. But Brian Ader's all of a sudden in second. If you haven't been down here, come down here to watch these guys. Boy, it's fun. Got a lot of great racing action. Oh, it's great. And we're going to have midgets down here. M-A-R-A -E and USAC National Midget Race. On the 16th, that's a Friday night before the state fair. They're going to be running here at Megan Speedway, and we haven't had open wheels in quite a few years. It ought to be a great night. Well, there goes Bill Hannett into the infield and out of the race. Well, midgets are fun to watch, but I don't know anybody can run as close as these guys do, and they do it every week. 
Who's that slowing down on the high side? Way up there. Who is that? Is that Jeff Wallace? It sure looks, looks like, like 77. 77. Boy, he was running good. I know. Too. It. He has run so strong this year and always gets hit with bad luck. Taylor's trying to fight his way up through there. I, yeah, I think he, he and Buffy just missed the setup tonight. They stay in the back the whole time. Either that or everybody ahead of them got their setup. All right, what are we going to do? 18 laps down as they come by this There's your time. leader. 32, Jim Rarick. Ader's up to second. Brian Ader is mm -hmm. running up to second. About a half a straightaway back. Is that up there? Mark Gonsman in car number 20 sneaking into the picture. He wants second. Oh, Whoa. Brian got that right way. turn. Jim Rarick loves to see him battling for second. That gives him a shot of pulling away. Is that five, Ronnie Tucker? Heck of a, heck of a race for second. Look at him, side by side. Of course, that's nothing new Ooh. here, is it? Got into traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't know which way to go. <laughs> 25, Joe Ross Jr. back there. The red 25 Looks is in like fourth place. Looks like 20 down. They're swapped. Now Mark Gonsman's taking yeah. second. The white and blue car number 20 pulls away down the back stretch. Yellow flag, got a spin. We've Al got, Crawley. Uh, Al Crawley in 11. Uh, Bruce Underbrink in 1 4 or 14. And 441, Chris Bargetzi bring out the yellow. We've got four laps to go in this 25 lap feature. 32, Jim Rarick in the lead. But look at Mark Gonsman. Now that they tightened it up, how'd he get by Ader? Oh, he did that several Man. laps ago. 14, Brian Ader in the yellow car is third. And 25, Joe Ross look Jr. in the red Gonsman. car. Mark's coming up. Working on that bottom. Ain't over till it's over. There's past Eddie Baum and the blue and white number one coming into the shot. Joe Ross Jr.'s up there trying to get a bite off that cushion, too. Way up high is working good for Jim Rarick. Two laps to go. You see him wave the green flag. Johnson's going to do it. He better do it now. Let's see who's going to go high. Rarick stays high. Gonsman's low. Brian Ader's low. White flag. Last lap. Now, let's see if the low groove's going to do it or if it's going to settle for second. Brian Ader's in third. All right, watch him now. Coming off the fourth turn. Checkered flag is in the air. Jim Rarick has his second feature win of the year. Mark Gonsman was second, but Brian Ader third. The week was Jim Rarick with his second feature win of the year with his son, Brandon. Talking to Larry Limbach. Heck of a run for you. What was the toughest part, do you recall? No, just, uh, just hanging on there. The caution come out four laps to go, and it... Uh, had to think about that for a minute, but it always comes out every time we win a race. It seems like we have a yellow there right at the end, but just have to keep your mind on it and go go for it. You had a good fast track tonight. Good fast track. The track was really good. I think he had it watered down more tonight because he's going to have uh, twin uh, modified races, so yeah, the track was in good shape. Well, he got his second feature win of 1991 at Macon Speedway. Jim Rarick on Macon Speedway today. Welcome back. We're going to watch all the winners now. Larry, how many times, can, how fast can you say Coors Light Night? 31 times. Let me hear you. <laughs> As you see, our feature winners' names go by. I want to remind you, we've still got a lot of racing left. We got a lot of stuff. We got Thursday nights and Saturday nights. We got midgets on Friday the 16th. I got a surprise for you. Uh huh. We have a combine <laughs> demolition derby at Macon Speedway coming up, and I got you a combine. Yeah, derby. I bet you do. I've done a lot of strange things. I've been in monster trucks. I've never done a combine. Might as you well. You can do it. <laughs> no <laughs> seatbelt, no helmet. Oh, no. You just just lost me partner upcoming events include our pre-celebration race very important we won't race saturday august 3rd we will race thursday august 1st pre-celebration right. race y103 south shores fans night those tickets are on sale at south shores merchants the wayne webb memorial usac and mara midget racing on friday august 16th did i tell you we got a lot of great racing left sponsors night on the 31st we roll into september bush race of champions on the 7th We've got a Combine Demolition Derby. Don't miss that, because Larry will be driving one. Hey, All right, Larry? Hey, it's been great. You bet it's been great. I'm Larry Limbach with Larry Rogers. I'm making Speedway Today. Don't forget, making Speedway Today is brought to you by Smooth Bush Beer and Easy Drinking Bush Light.